Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be power testing the Sitagi B300P and my rig of choice for doing it is the Yaesu FT450 it's because it's got a digital display I can show you exactly how much power I'm putting on the, into the input of the burner so uh, just a quick run through of the equipment FT450 it's going to be set initially at 5 watts the Targi B300 Oops. is that better kit there now this is one of the uh, what I'd call the newer uh, B300 so the old ones were sort of gold and I had one of those for years back in the 80s and 90s this is like the grey type of uh, colour I suppose I suppose you can call it grey anyway let's get on with the video get the 450 turned on set at 5 watts and we'll do some power testing Set the power, RF power, 5 watts. Just so you can see, there's the 5 watts. There's the Sharman uh, SWR power meter. I'm sure most of you are familiar with them or something similar I, I think diamond do one this is a, probably a copy of the diamond uh, mounted on the back is a 300 watt dummy load uh, by MFJ something that I'm really really pleased with uh, an old battered I think it's a QJE 30 amp power supply, it's seen better days to be fair but it does show the volts and the amps ok let's set the meter at 5 watts and just see what the meter reads, now I pretty much know what it's going to read in actual fact because this meter does read under, just bear that in mind when you're watching the test now we're looking at the bottom scale here and according to that that's only 4 watts just here there ok put it on the straight to the 200 watt scale as you can see there 200 watts let's turn the amplifier on oh if I turn the uh, power supply on it'd be a start Okay, the amps on position one. Just give you a look at the amplifier. There you go. The amp lights on. Let's move the camera. That's ten, twenty, about thirty watts according to that. Position two, just under 50 watts or 50 watts by the looks of it. Position three, 60 watts. Position four, I think, 70 watts, maybe a bit over. Position five, 
pretty much the same. Getting on towards 80. And position 6. Come on to that, they're setting up towards 120 watts, which is 5 watts input. Now let's try that again. In actual fact, while we're on position 6, let's have a look how many amps is drawn from the power supply. Best part of 20 amps there. I'll let you have a little look at everything there. And in the meanwhile, I'm just going to up the power on the rig. Okay, we're now at 10 watts. Still on position 6. Try and get the camera as best I can here. According to that, it's 150 watts. Now, how accurate this little setup is, I'm not sure, but it is into a 50 ohms dummy load. I've tried to keep this as neat as com and compact as possible. Now the dummy load is mounted onto the back of the power meter by a double male connector. It just rolls out another patch lead. Now some of you might be looking at these little thin wires here thinking well, what's that all about? They're just various things. One is the light for the, for the backlight for the meter. The other one is just a little connector that I've got connected up. The actual amplifier is connected to the two posts on the back of the power supply with 30 amp eyelets. Now I'll just quickly show you that it's just so the amplifier is not searching for amps you know it's not got a really long cable on it or the wires are not just wrapped around the post. Let me just turn the uh, power supply around if I can. Tell a lie they're not 30 amp connectors That's how it's connected. Quite a noisy fan on this old power supply. It was uh, second hand when I bought it. Well there you go guys. B300. Tested 5 watts in and 10 watts in. Uh, like I say you can believe the meter at 150 watts or maybe you can say it's not really 150 watts either way on CB radio I must say these are illegal to use <coughs> and this type of amp is aimed at the CB market